And do you know last week I was on a beach with a psychic? Like uh, I was on a beach. Who was your sidekick? Like not a sidekick. That's your thing. Welcome to 20 Minutes Till Pickup and uh, it's another episode. So um, I'm Lynn Ferguson and today is a very exciting episode, ladies and gentlemen and creatures of internet land, because I have my neighbour on and my neighbour also happens to be, what do you call yourself, ventriloquist? What do you say ventriloquist? I, I would call or myself would you say a comedian. Uh, one man show guy. One man show. Puppet that, master, I'm the puppet, puppet master. master. Puppet master, because one man show suggests playing a tambourine. And you don't, yeah, it does. You don't no, it's a one-man band. Yeah, but you know, it's yeah. kind of Dick Van Dyke in the so beginning puppet, of Mary Ma Puppet. Master mm -hmm. Puppeteer. Yeah. Okay, so uh, today's a very special episode because um, I have my neighbour, but who's my neighbour, but he's also Master Puppeteer Dave Strassman. Woo! Thank you. Do you hear that yeah. roar? Roar through internet land. I, I can't believe, because I just know you as Dave the Neighbour, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah. lo and behold, you're not. <laughs> well, you know, every time, I, every time I try to borrow a cup of sugar, you I, never have any. Well, you never do the sugar, though it's honey, isn't it? You're a honey guy. <laughs> Got any honey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am a honey guy. I know, I know. Because sugar is killing, killing the Western world. Hey, how do you feel about the bees? Because we're all worried about, I'm worried about bees, and I don't even like things that sting you. Yeah, but b bees are very important to our um, to our agriculture and for our very survival. Yeah. Yeah, but they figured out what it is. What is it? It's man-made pesticides. So, but the people are still trying to do the pesticides, so aren't they? I have faith technology will solve all these problems yeah. that present themselves in this society. Do you I know what? This is a very interesting thing that you should say that. Because what I'm thinking... Because I saw... I saw a Dave the Neighbours show, right, which is going to New Zealand. Australia. Australia and New Zealand. Same part of the world. Well, it's going down there. Yeah, down there. Down, down there under. where down the under. friendly people. Yeah. They have great food there, man. You have great food down yeah. there. And the reason why and it's when Australasia, I say, Australasia, that's why. Australasia. It's, it's the fresh vegetables of Asia. And um, they, they love, they love their, their downtime in Australia. Yeah. They love to eat well. They do, they do very good food. Anyway, I saw your show and it's all about technology and it's not always nice about technology, is it? No. So you have faith that technology will solve everything, but yes. technically? Well, the problem is we have to uh, adjust. So there's a conflict and then you have to resolve it. Conflict mm -hmm. and then resolve. Um, my show is about the idea that with all the internet, Facebook, YouTube, the world one click away, CGI, special effects, um, my show is about, is this desensitizing us? Is it causing us to not use our imaginations like we used to? For example, who is the second president of the United States? Oh, I'll Google it. So yeah. instead of using your memory, which uh, whenever you time you remember something, you actually recall a memory. Yeah, you would call it again. Yeah, every yeah. time you experience it again, really. You, oh, you experience do. it again. There's yeah. some things I don't want to experience again. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can repress that. Uh oh. So okay. what we're doing is we're googling instead of using our memory. So our short-term memory is is going away. And they just did a study in the UK. I don't know why it wasn't done here, but 45% of people who were polled could not remember their child's phone number or their work phone number, or their spouse's phone number. Where 30 years ago, pre-iPhone, it was 70%. Do you know your spouse's phone number? I know my spouse's phone I number. I know my son's, I think. Yeah, I know my son's, but I I, I press his name on my phone. I do too. Yeah, we all do that. Your son keeps saying, stop calling me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, um, I don't know my son's phone number. So, it's a really difficult number. Is it? Oh, yeah. You know what I think about what technology's done? In fact, you wouldn't even need to do a survey for this. It's ruined the pub quiz. I used to love a pub quiz. Remember the pub yeah, quiz yeah, where yeah. you'd sit round in a bar? Yeah, and then, and yeah, yeah the trivia. Yeah. yeah, It's so much fun. It's what is everybody? Gone. Everybody brings their phone out. Well, they're all sneaky under well, the table. Do sneaky. you know what I mean? You've ruined the that's pub quiz. That's being sneaky. I don't know that it would... T do you think if it takes away, like... 
So it takes away the, the, the ability to remember things. We're losing our short-term, uh, and no, we're losing our long-term memory. Right, okay. Um, and, the, you know, the question is, technology, you know, it is fantastic to have the entire world in your hand. Yeah. You can look up any statistic you want, you can get your weather. But it's funny, science fiction never predicted yeah. when uh, in the 70s and 80s, if you look at crowd scenes, People aren't like that, because that's how they are now. You look yeah. on the on the metro or in a pub or in a restaurant, everybody's looking down at their screen. But science fiction films never predicted that's what the majority of crowds would we, we'd be doing right now. But did you see there or was... Or that everybody be wearing glasses, because that's probably going to be next, doesn't it? What, the glasses? Well, there's going to be laws. You can't go walking down the street with VR glasses on. <laughs> the old try. You know what the thing that's, is... That's it's, so fat problem. Excuse me. Oh. Dave the neighbour, I know he's a friend of yours too, but technically he's co-hosting with me. I can shut this show down. <laughs> just like you can see this is a professional yeah, outfit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, puppeteer, right? Ventriloquist puppeteer. Right, I have to ask you, this is a very important question. Did you start with a sock? No. You didn't start with a no, sock? No, it's, it's, it's a line in my show, ventriloquism is the bastard child of sock puppets. Yeah, but so you did, how did you start then if you didn't start with, I a, started with a sock with buttons for eyes? I started with a the first character who is Chuck Wood, who will be joining us any moment. I'm a bit He's afraid. late. He's I'm a bit late. afraid of that. Uh, and I that started, worries me. He was me. mail order for $90 in no 1973. Way. No way. Mail order, yeah. Well, there's certain mail orders you can do now. It's not that kind of mail order, right? Not like a kind of handsome postman mail yeah, order. Yeah, there you go. Handsome postman. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah. No, um, but you've he's been replaced since then. It's not. Well, I've that, upgraded him. Yeah. I've upgraded him. Uh, when I got him, he was a traditional, as they say, hand up the bum ventriloquist doll. Yeah. So, his head's on a stick, which it still is now. Uh, a string for the mouth and a little lever for the eyes. And his head's on a stick. So, I don't want to know that. Do you know that? I don't want well, to know that. Well, it's important like it's like because a, but, now, yeah. this same puppet is not only manual, but as you saw in my show, he has over 20 movements of robotics. Yeah. Yeah. That's mental in your yeah. show. Yeah. Can I say the thing about the thing? Yeah, you can say when the thing about that, the like, thing. When you've got that, like, there's like, what, five of them? Is it five what I'm or doing six? in this show, and they're all talking, and you're wandering about, and I'm like, that's kind of crazy. I have five ventriloquist puppets yeah. sitting in chairs, and I operate them all live, their voices live, in a 15-minute conversation, discussion, argument, and we're talking about. Well, we're giving a, a TED talk, basically. Yeah. We're pretending to give a TED talk, and it's all on the suspension of disbelief and his imagination uh, being killed by technology. It's kind of crazy because I am sort of slightly nervous about that Chuck coming on because he you should. does look... <laughs> you should because uh, I think he's going to put on his Scottish oh uh, my God. demeanor for no, you. Yeah. No, no. Oh. Hey, you love Scotland though, don't you? I love Scotland, yeah. Scotland was, was the first place to, to pretty much tell me that I'm good. Really? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, when I hit Scotland in 96 uh, for the Edinburgh Festival, I'd headline comedy clubs. I'd done, oh, so many television shows. I played Caesar's Palace. I mean, I've done it all. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dave the Neighbor has yeah. played Caesar's See, Palace. Yeah. I opened for the, uh, what was it, the, um, oh, what's the three women? The, the Pointer Sisters. Did you? Yeah. Wow. No way. I've worked with so many people. Hey, I, I didn't, didn't they Reno. do slow hand? That was their song, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Slow hand. You're like, no, you need a fast yeah. hand, you silly women. You need a fast hand and a flicky finger and the eyes to move. <laughs> <laughs> a flicky finger. <laughs> so, every man needs a yeah, flicky finger. Every I feel. man, yeah. Well, this, this, <laughs> believe it or not, these hands are insured by Lloyd's of London for what no. I do. Yeah, these are the no. puppet hands. These are the puppet hands. No, no, no! no. <laughs> I'll me. make it talk. They're probably too so, expensive to touch me those hands. So what yeah, happened you've was got, uh, you've got firm digits there. Great. <laughs> so what happened was uh, is it Irish? Oh no, it's Scott. What? Oh Nessie. Oh, it's a lot. Nessie. Do you know what? This gets a oh, lot of insults. 
Do you know Astru Sierra, Astrubo Sierra from Ozo Matley? Do you know the band Ozo Matley? No. Right, well, they're a very good band and they're very well known. And he came on here and you know, he went, What's that, a Scottish lizard? <laughs> was it a Scottish crocodile. crocodile? Crocodile. I was like, It does look like a crocodile. It does not look well, anything like Well, it doesn't look anything like, like Nessie, which is a cardboard cutout pulled by a string in a motorboat. I think we will have to disagree. Okay, all right. I have to we'll disagree. We'll disagree to disagree. Yeah, I believe that Nancy truly So Edinburgh. Edinburgh. I Edinburgh. went to Edinburgh in 1996. Right. Um, and that's where I won my first and only awards for what I do. The Glasgow Herald newspaper gave yeah. me uh, their top comedy award. The Herald Angel. It's the Herald, it the Herald, Herald Angel, Angel Award. Oh, like and I also uh, received the... No, I forgot the other one. Another comedy award. Did you get the Perry? Did you get no, the... Was no, no, the... I never... I, the, you know what I was told I was up for? Yeah. But they wouldn't give it to me because I was a yank. <gasps> but yeah. I, I don't know if that's true. Anymore. Well, you know what? Every it's, year in Edinburgh there's a whole... Yeah. Oh, yeah, who's going to get like it? That. Yeah. Oh, just the same as everybody is selling out and not making any money simultaneously. Do you know what I mean? The but there's a funny like story, a... though. When, um, when I received the... the Critics Award for Comedy, that's what it was. Uh, I got a text by my publicist that says, uh, you have to be at the theater lobby foyer uh, at 9 a.m. to mm. receive uh, this award. I went, oh no, and I, I would, it was 8.30. I had been out the night before. In I was home. I was hung over. <laughs> I, and it, well, I wasn't even in my flat. Oh, oh hello. Yeah. 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 Dave's yeah. the neighbor. Yeah, and so thank God, <laughs> thank goodness, thank goodness I had Chuck with me. Oh wait, I didn't, I didn't that, bring... I'm sorry, that must be the that... mentalist thing. <laughs> where you like, for, for all the ladies' point of view, where you go, oh my God. Yeah. Like, well, she probably looks across at you and goes, oh, lovely, Dave the neighbor. And then looks across and sees the wee <laughs> Chuck like that and goes, oh my God. <laughs> Slept with a man and his dummy. I heard that. Chuck, be quiet. <laughs> He's going to come out. So the story was I, I rushed to this thing all hungover, and I get there as it already started. There's a big uh, crowd of people in the foyer where mm. they're giving the award. Brian May from Queen was there. <gasps> yeah. Did his hair? Yeah, yeah. Did that? He it's saw a... my show. Oh, he too. did. Yeah. Oh, no. I got a signed. Uh... <gasps> Would you sign my no. Queen really? album? Yeah, he did. Really? Yeah, my ex-wife awesome. has it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but did he have the? Uh, did, yeah, did you he touch his ear? No. You, I, no. If he if he ever asked me to sign anything, I'd say sure, I'll sign it. But yeah, you gotta let me touch, touch your, your hair. hair. Yeah. Just a little, just a little ringlet. He's, he's, anyway, so. Uh, Edinburgh, you awards. Yeah. So they said, and uh, the critics award goes to David Strassman. Uh, big applause, and I stand in this little group of people, and I said, I, thank you so much. I just want to say that. Uh, you know, it's an honor to finally be recognized because my art form is really back down. End of the peers, what they yeah. call it. Americans don't understand that. That means that, you know, in England, all the, the bad acts would be at the end of the pier of yeah. the big, huge, you know, the summer fairs. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, and then I said, but the real, real thanks uh, goes to Chuck Wood, ladies and gentlemen, I pointed down to the floor as though he was going to walk out and the crowd split open. They all looked down. Oh, because they believe They it. believe it. But you know what? It really does. Yeah. That's a very weird thing. And then I went, I went, made you look. <laughs> <laughs> so. But there's a, there is a weird thing happens with, with those dummies where you're like. Well, just you I wait. Know. When he's sitting here, you're going to freak. You're going to freak. No, I won't. You are. I won't believe yeah. me. Freak. Yeah. Are you timing this? You, yeah. are, you are timing this. Yeah, dude, We're at 1230. No. Eight minutes left. Yeah. All right. Okay. What so, I say? There you go. How did you know that? I've got a little clock in my head. Did you remember? And this technology, have you got it's a chip technology. in your head? <laughs> so you, so Chuck was the very first puppet you had ever, ever. Yeah, yeah. No, and, and was it a present or something, or were no, you on no. a trip or something? In what year happened? eight, when I was in um, junior high school, a teacher decided to teach as an elective ventriloquism because he d was a ventriloquist. This That's is in Chicago. I was living in that. North Chicago at the right. time. Uh, I grew up here in Southern California. What was your teacher's name? Stephen Hart, and you can find him on Stephen Hart Facebook. Hart. Awesome. Oh yeah, I just reconnected with him last year, oh, you did? and I thanked him because I've been looking oh. for him for years. I said, you know, you started my career because not only did he teach me how to do ventral, only six kids signed up, but he taught me how to advertise in a local paper to do kids parties. Oh wow! So at age thirteen, my mates are all cutting the grass for five dollars. I'm doing a 
birthday party, entertaining little kids for 50 bucks and getting free birthday cake. Steve yeah. Hart, where were you when I needed you? Well, you need a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> I married one. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> there you go. So you started with him and then you did it, for, and did you go to college or whatever, or then what happened? Um, I got bit by the the theater bug. My, my high school is the high school where they filmed Breakfast Club. Oh, right. John wow. Hughes film. Oh, yeah. wow. And so it had an amazing theater department. I got involved in that. And, I, and then I wanted to go and do acting. I moved to New York to study acting. And when I was a starving actor, my father suggested, well, why don't you pull Chuck out in Central Park and busk, you know, do street performing. I went, no, are you kidding? So I did it and made $30 and change in the first show. Wow. I went, oh my God. So that was 1977. I made that my job. I worked at Wall Street at lunch hour, before the theater queues on Broadway. I'd work the village in Friday and Saturday nights from uh, 11 p.m. till 3 in the morning, and I'd work Central Park on Saturday and Sunday afternoon. So I worked five days a week, and I averaged about $500 in spare change a week when I was 20 years old. Wow. And I felt like I was on top of the world. Yeah. I felt like, oh, if there was a nuclear holocaust, I'd be the one doing shows for my food. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And then I took it to London. I did it on, uh, I bust on the streets of London. And then I went to Paris and did a little mime magic thing in Paris. Mm. And so I, I street performed for... Uh, Where would you say was the best place to street, street perform? perform? Yeah. New York City, Greenwich Village on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. I, I had this little spot in front of the Circle in the Square Theater on Bleecker mm -hmm. Street. The theater closed. There was an awning, a marquee. It was indented from the street. I had a natural theater, a mm -hmm. little theater. And I got the most amazing crowds of in the summer in New York of people who were intelligent. They wanted to laugh. I was able to improvise and spar off the crowd. And I really did. I got, that's where I got my chops. I got... I learned how to entertain by doing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of shows a week. So when did you start, because it's fascinating actually, <clears throat> when did you start with, the, was Teddy your next one? Te Teddy was the next one. <clears throat> My manager at the time in the late 80s said, you need something to offset Chuck's meanness. Yeah. I heard that. <laughs> And he said, you should do a teddy bear. I went, Teddy, oh, this is stupid. And then I brought him out in one of the first performance of Teddy Bear. I didn't even have a routine. The all audience went, oh. He has a if you look it up on <coughs> my website, which is davidstrassman.com. No, he is adorable. And because you've got like, and there's the alien you for this In this one? particular show, I've had about 20 characters over the years. Right. But in this show, it's five characters. Chuck Wood, who's the evil little boy. Teddy Bear, who's the dumb... Every man, Sid the Comic Beaver, who's a stand-up comedian from the. I love the Beaver. He's from this. I, I, I say that not metaphorically, <laughs> just in case there's any confusion. He has a character called Sid. Sidney Sid. Myron Beaverman. He's I, a beaver. And I, he's a stand-up like, comedian. He's an old-time stand-up. Oh, comedian. he's. Then there's fantastic. Kevin the Alien and Grandpa Fred, who is senile. And, yeah, I, and I love the Alien as well. Yeah. And I, I find it really difficult not to believe that they're all real. <clears throat> Well, that's what I love about this. Yeah. I love the idea that I can bring these characters to life. And, you know, I'm an okay ventriloquist. If you want to study my mouth, you'll see that there's throat movement and my lips sometimes occasionally move. I'm pretty good. I'm not the best, but I bring such life to these puppets that you forget it's a ventriloquist show mm. after 10 minutes. Do you have a favorite ventriloquist? Because I actually don't know. Favorite ventriloquist? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. And it's the only one, and it's Nina Conti from the UK. I know her. Well, you know I, Nina? Know, I know her. I know she her. is brilliant. She, she totally deconstructs the art form like I do. Yeah. And she's got a beautiful mind, and she's great, and she's just fantastic. Oh, shout out to Nina Conti. Yeah. Hey, who inspired you? Nobody. Nobody, you just got the doll and went, screw it, yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally, that was it? Was, that was it, a, it. was it a present that you had asked for? Or? No, no, I took this course, and then I said, and I used the guy's puppets. He had, like, a bird that I used. And he yeah. goes, well, you ought to, uh, here's a catalog, you ought to order one. And I ordered the cheapest one. Like, they were all 200 bucks, and I had to order the $90. I couldn't afford it. It was $90 back in 1973, and I was, what, 13? God, that's crazy to think. I think I've made back my investment. <laughs> 
<laughs> then you're still Should we get him out? Yeah, right. yeah, we should get him out. Right. I'm a bit worried about this. Can you tell? Oh, I've been procrastinating. Okay, okay so, all right, um, so we'll put him here. Hi. Let me see here. I, you know, oh, i got to stick my hand in to get him working first. Oh, there you we do? Go. Put his hand there. I am. Um, and then he looks at you. <coughs> no way. What? No way. You know her? <laughs> yeah, Dark Knight, Glasgow. <gasps> No way. Yeah, yeah, we. No way. Do you know way. what? The thing, <laughs> the thing is, is ah, come on. The Chuck. thing is, is he's so. You know, Glasgow men are quite short, so technically yeah, yeah. you could be. And he's fairly, got the bald head. Yeah, you could be fairly average sized in Glasgow. Uh, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about, do you, honey? <laughs> so this is Lynn Chuck. Yeah, I know who she is. Oh, you do? Yeah. I, I, I've done online. Okay. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. That's mental. When did you get your head done? <laughs> Cause you got, don't look at me like that. I'm just asking you a question. When did you? I like your hair. your hair. Thank you. It's yeah. natural. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm insulting you. Okay, Chuck, don't be insulting, please. You so know. this is Chuck. Um, uh, this is he had hair up until uh, yeah. my last tour. What happened? Well, I decided I decided to make it a little more twisted. Is it anything to do with the? Cause you know you you have hair, but like you know. Lot of hair. So did you decide that you know? No, Chuck, I, do you I, feel I needed like the I needed the tattoos. I needed to bring him into this this uh, century yeah, because century. you look at all ventriloquist dolls. They really look like they should be in birthday parties. Yeah, there's a I lot. I kill of those dolls. <laughs> I kill them. Is there what's uh, life like for a doll? It sucks. Really? Why? He he makes me live in a suitcase. Well, that's kind of it's quite. It looks like quite a nice suitcase. So it's kind of padded. It's and shite. Stuff. <laughs> I hate it. All right. This so. has to be the weirdest podcast. Yeah, I know. Isn't this strange? Huh? Yeah, no, it is strange. If you were doing a podcast, Chuck, what would your podcast be called? Fishing. Um, fishing. Fishing with Chuck. <laughs> I don't know what you'd be fishing for, though. For uh, bodies come to mind. <laughs> bodies and uh, she totally thinks I'm real. Well, you are real. You are real in a way. You know, why is your is. arm stuck like that? It won't. It won't go down. No, here, let me put it like. I know why. You know, these. This puppet is. He is fully. In fact, you can look in there. No, I don't want Just, to look. You no, should. I'm not. I'm not you looking. Should. No, I'm not looking. Go on. I Drop don't bite. down. I don't, I don't want. Bite. I don't want to look. Drop down. No, I'm not looking. Get your kid off. No, look. I'm not looking. <laughs> Get your kid off. That's a good thing. <laughs> we we've come to the end of the Have podcast. We already? What are we going to do? We just started with Chuck. I know. We'll come back for another yeah, one. Okay. Chuck, do you want to do your own podcast? No. <laughs> that means yes. You couldn't you afford it. <laughs> I, 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 I'll pay you, you a tea. You couldn't afford it. Quiet. Tea? Or yeah, right. All right, all right okay. How We're coming whiskey? back. Whiskey. Shush! I'm finishing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have whiskey. You want me to get you some whiskey? You got any? Yeah. Yeah? What yeah. kind? Uh, like a little one or something? Yeah, yeah, I got some malts. Nah. What really? Do you want? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Bring it up. Bring it up. Okay. Fish off. Okay, we're coming. <laughs> we're coming back for another podcast. See you in a minute. Bye. Oh, so if you want to ask a question, I can't guarantee we'll answer it, but um, but I'll try. You could tweet me a question at, at Lynn Fergie, or um, or you can make a comment if you're watching this on the video. And um, oh, you know what would be awesome? Can you share this? Thanks. All right. Mwah. See you later.